In 1990, 3% of Americans said that they had no close knit friends. In 2021, this number has increased to 15%. Tragically, the trend is in a similar course all over the world. So here's a question. If billions of us all over the planet are so connected through social media, why then are we so lonely? Well, as it turns out, the connections made through social media aren't quite as genuine as we once suspected. What's more regrettable is that a few sociologists feel that social media has made a recreation of the real world, a simulation that we mistake for reality itself. This can drive social division and make us unhappy. We'll cover the entirety of this later in the episode, but first, we'll discuss a new application called Be Real. Be Real vows to strip away the phoniness and bring back legitimacy to social media, and individuals are responding. By mid 2022, it turned into the number one downloaded application on the App Store in the US and the most downloaded application in Australia, Germany, and numerous other countries. So, what is Be Real? Will it last? And what does it tell us concerning the course that society might be heading? Welcome to Bulls and Bears. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Now, let's go back to the video. When social media first gained popularity during the 2010s, it was, and still is, an extraordinary device to keep in touch with individuals from one side of the planet to the other. But since then, we've lost our innocence. Countless scandals and whistleblowers have painted practically every platform as a disservice to society. Individuals are now deliberately mindful of the adverse effects and are beginning to move away. On the back of this trend, Be Real rose to noticeable prominence. It aimed to be the anti social media social media. So, what is Be Real precisely? Be Real is a French social media application released in 2020. It was created by Alexis Beria, a previous GoPro employee. The application basically sat around for around two years before unexpectedly exploding in popularity in mid 2022. The fundamental idea of Be Real is simple. When you download the application, you get a notification once per day when it's time to quote, Be Real. This means you have two minutes to snap a picture of anything you're doing, regardless of how ordinary. The application takes a double photograph, so that is a selfie, and afterward, one more photograph of what you're doing. There's no choice for video on the service yet. As stated by the organization, quote, push notifications are sent around the world simultaneously at different times each day. It's a secret in how the time is chosen every day, it's not random. The outcome is the social feed filled with unedited photographs of individuals doing unglamorous things daily. Eating food, watching a film at home, doing schoolwork, riding the bus. Simple, ordinary things. There are two primary tabs your friends tab, which is simply gathered from individuals on your contacts list, and the discovery where you can follow others if you wish. The biggest contrast and the most standout thing is exactly how no frills and basic the application is. Truly, it's something contrary to Instagram in all aspects. It's very nearly on the verge of being boring. However, that is the point. I think today in social media, we are so used to shiny bells and dopamine hacks to hold our focus, and when that is completely removed, social media can appear to be very dry. In August of 2022, Be Real turned into the most downloaded application in Germany, and its popularity has developed globally. Fiji even turned into the first country with an official account. The organization has now received $600 million in funding. And this is set to increase. As of July 2022, the application has more than 20 million estimated worldwide installs, and it has a good dynamic user base with more than 10 million active daily users. However, it can't be all positive. There are some negative aspects to this application as well. As fascinating as this application is right now, I can see Be Real failing in one of three ways. Number one, Individuals simply get bored of it. Number two, Be Real adds more features until it loses its character and turns out to be simply one more social media application. Or three, Instagram could take the feature which is supposed to currently be in progress. And besides all of this, 
the organization needs a method for figuring out some way to produce revenue because there are no advertisements on the platform at all. But regardless of what happens, the fact that this application has become so well-known among younger individuals is a sign to me. It shows that there's a hunger and interest for an alternate kind of social media, a better social media. And quite possibly, the online space of the future could be better as well. I do hope to see this situation unfold, whether it's from Be Real or another player. I'm certain a lot of you also would be confused and immediately quip, why don't these children simply head outside and talk to people? But for a lot of individuals, it's simply not all that simple. If we can have better approaches to connecting on the web, I don't believe there's anything wrong with that. So, we should investigate on a deeper level. What does the explosive development of this application tell us about society? Whether it's pictures or data, social media is frequently over-curated. As time has gone on, this has caused social media to largely force society into a condition of hyper-reality. Hyper-reality is a term used by French sociologist Jean Baudrillard in 1981. A hyper-real situation highlights an existence where the simulations of reality are unclear from reality itself. This present reality and the simulated reality no longer have limits. As a result, nothing in our way of life is true anymore. All that we're left with is a representation or a duplicate of the real world. Some might argue that we're not exactly there yet. However, this theory has lately been applied to social media. It resembles the following. Every one of the photos that we post, links that we share, messages we type, and media that we consume online makes a customized world that is not quite the same as our present reality. To us, this digital world replaces reality. Give us sufficient time and the digital reality turns out to mean more to us than this present reality. Further to this, the algorithm will directly dictate the way that your digital world will look. Over time, each of our digital worlds would float further away from what is truly real. For instance, a lot of significant controversies on Twitter don't exist in reality. Another normal example is the daily lives that you see others experiencing on Instagram aren't reality. So what does this all have to do with Be Real? Well, this application may be a fascinating approach to handling this hyper-reality while having the comfort of remaining digitally connected. Philosophically, I view that as extremely fascinating, regardless of if I'm going to utilize this application or not. Speaking of which, I have utilized the application for a little while, and I don't believe it's for me. But, after reading what others are saying, individuals are truly loving it. The main consensus is that the application is authentic. Individuals tend to just have their close friends rather than the thousands of Instagram followers that might be strangers to them. They mention that there's less pressure to look great, and this makes a judgment-free zone. And overall, it causes the application to feel more down-to-earth. And for the majority of social media users, I can see how this can be a change of pace. As a last note, this episode isn't sponsored. I haven't been in touch or gotten anything from Be Real. This is only my editorial on society. Just a bit of a different episode on something that I purely saw as fascinating. So do you think Be Real will succeed or will it fail? Also, do you think we'll ever escape hyper-reality? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, click on the notification bell to be updated on our new content, and don't forget to give us a like if you want more videos similar to this one. See you next time!